Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Sagittarius for December 2010. And this also applies if you have a Sagittarian ascendant. So my Sagis, happy birthday to you. I hope this is going to be a really wonderful year ahead for you in every possible way. So to start off with, we're, we're going to have quite a lot going on still with your relationships and with your finances and with your home this month. A lot of change happening. We've got Venus still in this 12th house. So this is you trying to make sense of a lot of love relationships, a lot of un trying to understand the love in your life, whether it's an intimate relationship, whether it's with your family, whether it's with a partner, whatever it is, but trying to understand it more and maybe also somebody coming into your life from the past, maybe some dreams about love from the past. You're trying to piece together things to understand things more deeply. That's very much with this Venus in the 12th house for you. And also this can of course mean a clandestine, a secret affair where you are having a, it could be fantasies about somebody or it could be the actual thing in a relationship but doing it secretively so that most people don't know about it. Well Sagis, as it's your birthday month, this is a time to focus on you, a time to party, a time to enjoy. For the first 10 days of the month, we've got Mars in your sign. So a great time to push forward, to be assertive, to do the things that you love, to see the big picture, to go a little bit over the top. I mean, we also have Mercury as well um, in your second house, sorry, in your first house, going retrograde as well this month, Mercury retrograde. So be careful you don't shoot your mouth off. It's in your sign. And when it goes retrograde in your sign, there's a tendency sometimes to have said something and you wish, I wish I wouldn't have said that. So um, we, we do have Mercury retrograde from the 10th until the 29th of December. So not a brilliant time for starting anything new. It's a good time for completing things, for things that you've been working on for a while, that you've maybe researching on and reworking through, or maybe relearning something. Great time to complete something, but not the best time for beginning new things. So try and get any important contracts signed out of the way before the 10th if you can help it. Don't spend large amounts of money on things because once that Mercury goes direct, you're going to be sorry. You're going to be saying, oh, just look at that. I could have got it so much cheaper. So try to keep your expenses down to a minimum. I know that might be difficult for some of you of the holiday season, but don't say you weren't warned with a Mercury retrograde. It's going to look as though things are worth a whole lot more than they actually are. So for much of this month, as I said, there's a focus on you. So do some nice things for you as well, some physical exercise, some physical things with Mars in your first house. And then after about the third week of the month, second, third week of the month, we've got these planets in your second house of finance. So it's a good time to either do something with your hands, to make something, or to put your energy into generating more money, into coming up with new ideas and actually proactively going out there with them because it's Mars and Capricorn. So it's actually about being very practical. Also, maybe looking at your values and what's important to you now, especially with coming up to the new year, maybe making some new year's resolutions as to what's important to you from here on in. Are you changing your hierarchy of the things that you've been working for? And look at those seriously and maybe come up with a new plan that's exciting to you because such as we do know you need a lot of excitement in your lives. You need to feel as though the earth is moving under you and as though things are happening. And boy, you should be feeling that very much in your home area. Many of you are feeling unsettled. There's, there's changes, there's erratic moves, there's unexpected moves. Many of you may find yourselves moving not once but even twice in this coming year. There's certainly going to be some moves. I'm seeing that for quite a lot of my Sagittarian clients. I'm seeing them going to make not one move, but probably two moves for many of them. So um, there you have it, my Sagis. It's going to be an interesting month, a mix of examining more deeply your finances and your relationships and whether you're in fact getting enough love in your relationships. And you feel as well whether your love is being accepted 
in your relationships. So that's going to be one of the big themes and also very much about enjoying yourself, having fun, partying as well, and just being aware of the Mercury retrograde, not getting too frustrated if your travel plans do get a little bit disrupted during this Mercury retrograde. So I wish you a wonderful month, very happy birthdays for those of you that have them, and maybe you'd like to have a reading about what 2011 holds in store for you. You might like to have a reading to know what 2011 has in store for you, or maybe treat somebody to a reading about 2011, or maybe just ask a question for $25 and I'll answer in an email of up to 150 words. Whatever it is, I'd be delighted to hear from you. Bye for now.